Ladies and gentlemen, this will game to the comp video. I have a simple question for you. How much memory do you have on your graphics card? Two gigabytes? Four? Eight? Maybe twelve? So you're doing pretty good, right? Well, AMD have just announced at SIGGRAPH the Radeon Pro SSG, which, by the way, stands for Solid State Graphics, and it has one terabyte of memory. I just want to say that one more time. One terabyte, which is absolutely gargantuan, absolutely monstrous. And it's not some pipe dream. It's not like something that's going to happen in, I don't know, 2021. No, 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 no. This is going to happen by 2017. And AMD have announced that the developer's kit are going to start out at just 10,000 US dollars per card. Now, before you rush out and uh, start getting a second mortgage into your home, it's worth noting that this is not for gamers this is not a gpu that you're going to be playing the dooms on this is not for your quakes this is for let's say if you wanted to put out oh i don't know 8k video content that's right amd actually shown off a demonstration scrubbing through raw 8k video which is as someone who does video editing i can tell you that's pretty damn impressive and it went from 17 frames a second to over 90. This means that if you're doing anything like virtual reality work, if you're doing scientific slash engineering or visualization, it's going to be damn impressive. Now, there are a couple of questions regarding how all of this works from a technical standpoint, but it would appear that there's one terabyte of NAND, which is hooked directly to the Radeon Pro SSG. Incidentally, this essentially means you've got an SSD hooked directly on to the graphics card then the gpu will send data directly to this rather than via the pcie through the rest of the system now i know what you're going to say to yourself well how is that going to work in reality like if you were to take a look at the sata interface of a traditional ssd card at best you're looking at 500 to 600 megabytes per second of data well that's true but there are some PCIe-based solutions, or maybe M2s, which can certainly go a lot higher than that. You're looking at maybe around 2,000 megabytes per second, slightly more, slightly less, depending on the situation. Now, remember, this is not utilizing a specific interface. So theoretically, you should be able to get the maximum potential out of this. So I wldn't be surprised if it's once again around two to three thousand megabytes per second, which is obviously fairly reasonable if you're, let's say, comparing it to the traditional SSD interfaces out there. But it's obviously is a little bit behind the 200, 300, 400, 500 gigabytes, or even one terabyte per second of bandwidth that we start seeing in high-end graphics cards. So what's the deal, Leo? Well, there's probably going to be some type of cache, some type of volatile memory, which acts as kind of like a buffer. Now, we're unsure what that's going to be. It could be GDDR5, it could be GDDR5X, or it could possibly be high bandwidth memory. Perhaps um, AMD are going to just go with the version that obviously provides the best performance based upon the budget. Now it's going to be really interesting because this card could offer a tantalizing glimpse into the future. We've heard of the X-Point technology from uh, both Intel and Micron. They're working on it as a joint venture and it's looking to be very tasty. It's got absolute ridiculous amounts of memory bandwidth. In fact, Intel, if you believe their claims, say that it can be up to a thousand times faster than traditional NAND technology. This is pretty damn exciting for folks who are, once again, processing massive video um, demands or virtual reality, that type of thing. Now, what does it mean for you and I, who are probably not um, trying to, let's say, create virtual reality videos or once again, um, edit video at 4K. What does it mean to the average gamer? At the moment, very little for the next year or two. 
but eventually this stuff does trickle down to the average user and whether this is a glimpse of things to come or not it remains to be seen but let's face it games are becoming bigger game worlds are becoming bigger textures everything in the assets of graphics which create games are getting bigger all the time so while once again this is probably not going to mean anything for now it means that for even moviegoers it could perhaps mean that movie time schedules are going to be a little shorter because the special effects to render them is going to be quick to implement it could be that we get hell even medicine and uh, other such discoveries which of course rely upon well computers to calculate them it could potentially be a little faster now i'm not saying that amd are revolutionizing the world here please don't take it out of context what I am saying is that innovation and technology like this does have usages and eventually will impact you or trickle down to the average customer. So it's really exciting stuff. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon. Take care of yourselves, guys. Bye for now.